time of ever-increasing demand for industrial growth and end products, sectors such as refining, water and wastewater, hydropower, chemical and mining are seeing a move toward bigger valves. But with greater size, many factors and design considerations come into play, as it's not a simple proposition of enlarging the valve components. Very few companies in the world are capable of manufacturing such large valves. Why is there a trend toward producing bigger valves? Limitations on groundwater pumping enacted to maintain healthy aquifers and prevent seawater encroachment necessitates transporting water from surface water sources through large pipelines over long distances. Aging infrastructure and increasing urbanization where larger water treatment and wastewater slash sewage treatment facilities are being specified, which requires larger valves. Climate change and increased extreme weather events, such as hurricanes, flooding, and levee breaches that require larger storm water handling valves. The hydro sector, for example, is impacted by climate change and more frequent large rainfall events. Dam owners are under pressure by regulators to increase the ability to release water faster to avoid flooding or overtopping, which often translates to a need for larger valves. A lesser factor is the regulatory requirement to release more flow from low-level outlets to improve downstream conditions for fish and recreation. Many existing low-level outlet valves are incapable of releasing greater mandated flows. Also, drought conditions are increasing the need for longer pipelines and more storage. What are the most significant challenges in dealing with exceptionally large valves? There are simply fewer companies that have the design expertise and manufacturing capability available to handle big valves. There are also fewer foundries that can pour the large castings. Engineering capability and complex tooling may need to be created. Valve manufacturers that have the expertise, equipment and facilities to produce large valves are rare. The manufacturing process may be less vertically integrated handling. Testing and transporting larger valves is more challenging. Other note where the large valve challenges include material handling for fabrication and testing, factory crane capacity and lift height limitations is a challenge. Another issue is machine tool limitations, the mill and lathe size required. Compliance with industry standards that apply to smaller valves can often be cost prohibitive to meet on a larger valve. Stroke speed, speed that the gate or flow element moves. 
for large electrically actuated valves may need to be faster than that for a smaller valve so as not to exceed standard 15 or 30 minute electric actuator motor run times. Standard semi-trailer over road maximum capacity is 80,000 pounds. At the site, the contractor may also have handling limitations or the access to the installed location may be restricted, requiring the valve be shipped in pieces and assembled on-site. The Manufacturing Process of Industrial Valves Basically, this process includes four stages, order and design, inventory, and checklist. After a customer places an order, the manufacturing department will go out to find raw materials and procure them. It may take some time until all the steps are completed. Nevertheless, this process is not complicated and will give you a better idea of how the industrial valves are manufactured. Order in Design Industrial valve production is the process of producing a high-quality industrial valve. This involves handcrafted components. Once a valve has been designed and approved by the customer, it is time to place an order for it. After a customer has approved a design, the provider places an order for it and a predetermined deposit is made. Once the order is placed, the manufacturing department starts sourcing materials and raw materials. Inventory. Once the order is placed, the next step is to look for raw materials. You need to manufacture different parts of the valves, so different materials are needed. You can look for the materials in inventory. If the materials are not available in inventory, you need to procure them from suppliers. Completing the checklist. After collecting all the raw materials, the manufacturing team has to create a checklist and check whether all the essential materials are present to start the production process. Apart from that, the quality assurance team will also check the quality of the materials that are going to be used to manufacture valves. Production process. The production process of industrial valves involves the manufacturing of the valve bodies, stem, and seat. The casting method is used to produce these parts of the valve. Some manufacturers also use a foged method that involves cutting and forging, trimming, sandblasting, machining, and surface treatment. The valve bodies can be made of a single piece or are cast using molds or cores. Modern casting processes use a core to produce parts with complex inner cavities. Assembly. In the manufacturing process, it is essential to follow proper procedures for valve assembly. 
the major components of the industrial valve should be cleaned and assembled separately. After completing the production, the parts need to be assembled to create a complete valve. The process of the valve assembly is generally carried out with the body of the valve serving as a reference part. Pressure test. After assembly, the valves have to go through a pressure test. The most basic pressure test for industrial valves is the hydrostatic pressure test. The test involves partially opening the valve and applying a hydrostatic pressure that is 50% higher than its rated working pressure. The valve's sealing surface must remain leak-free, and the applied pressure cannot drop below its rated working pressure. Inspection and quality control. The last step in industrial valve manufacturing is inspection and quality control. All the valves need to be inspected to make sure there is no leakage or error. Industrial valve manufacturers should take inspection and quality control seriously. A QA is appointed to inspect the quality of the end product. <laughs> 